The third phase of stage two adds Mars and its two moons using components supplied with issues 12 to 16. Begin by placing the gear spindle inside the gear collar. Make a sandwich by placing the 106 tooth gear on top and the 85 tooth gear on the bottom. Fix each of the gears with three 6mm M2.3S screws. Secure the top gear first. Then align the screw holes in the bottom gear with the sockets in the gear spindle that were not used for the top gear. Tighten both gears firmly. Lock the gear collar to the gear spindle with an M3G grub screw. Start building the small gear sandwich by pushing the two gear axles together through the smaller hole in the planet gear arm. The larger axle goes on top. Place the 43 tooth gear over the lugs on the top axle. Place the 22 tooth gear over the bottom axle. Fix the 43 tooth gear with a 6mm M2.3S screw. Fix the 22 tooth gear with a longer 8mm M2.3S screw. Check that the gears rotate smoothly. Release the central column from the column support by undoing the grub screw. Slide a plastic washer onto the central column. Then slide the large gear sandwich up the column until it meshes with the planet gear set above. Slide another plastic washer onto the central column. Slide the assembled small gear sandwich up the shaft and mesh with the gear set above. Fix with an M3G grub screw. Refix the central column to the column support and tighten the large grub screw. Take the Mars planet arm and note that one end has a hole for the planet's pin and the other end is blank. Insert the blank end into the side of the collar. Lock it with an M3G grub screw ensuring the arm stands upright. Push the pin of planet Mars through the collar of its moons and into the top of the vertical support arm. Phase 3 is now complete. The fourth phase of stage two adds dwarf planet Ceres using components supplied with issues 17 to 20. The construction of phase four is very similar to that for phase three. All that differs is the size of the gear wheels. The large gear sandwich has 106 tooth and 83 tooth gears, and the small gear sandwich has 45 tooth and 22 tooth gears. As before, place a plastic washer above and below the large gear sandwich on the central column. Ensure the gears mesh with those above. Add the small gear sandwich, mesh the gears and lock the collar with an M3G grub screw. Lock the Serra's support arm into the side of the collar with an M3G grub screw. Push the pin of dwarf planet Serra's into the top of the vertical support arm. Phase 4 is now complete. The fifth phase of stage two adds Jupiter and its moons using components supplied with issues 21 to 25. The construction of phase five is again very similar to that for previous phases. All that differs is the size of the gear wheels. The large gear sandwich has 106 tooth and 85 tooth gears, and the small gear sandwich has 43 tooth and 22 tooth gears. As before, Place a plastic washer above and below the large gear sandwich on the central column. Ensure the gears mesh with those above. Add the small gear sandwich, mesh the gears and lock the collar with an M3G grub screw. Lock the Jupiter support arm into the side of the collar with an M3G grub screw. Push the pin of planet Jupiter through the collar of its moons into the top of the vertical support arm. Phase 5 is now complete. The sixth phase of stage two adds Saturn and its moons using components supplied with issues 26 to 30. In this phase, the large gear sandwich has 106 tooth and 80 tooth gears, and the small gear sandwich has 48 tooth and 22 tooth gears. Place a plastic washer above and below the large gear sandwich on the central column. Ensure the gears mesh with those above. Add the small gear sandwich, mesh the gears, and lock the collar with an M3G grub screw. Lock the Saturn support arm into the side of the collar with an M3G grub screw. Push the pin of planet Saturn through the collar of its moons into the top of the vertical support arm. Phase six is now complete.
The seventh phase of stage two adds Uranus and its moon using components supplied with issues 31 to 35. In this phase, the large gear sandwich has 106 tooth and 91 tooth gears, and the small gear sandwich has 37 tooth and 22 tooth gears. Place a plastic washer above and below the large gear sandwich on the central column. Ensure the gears mesh with those above. Add the small gear sandwich, mesh the gears, and lock the collar with an M3G grub screw. Lock the Uranus support arm into the side of the collar with an M3G grub screw. Push the pin of planet Uranus into the top of the vertical support arm. Phase 7 is now complete. The eighth phase of stage two adds Neptune and its moon using components supplied with issues 36 to 40. In this phase, the large gear sandwich has 106 tooth and 98 tooth gears, and the small gear sandwich has 30 tooth and 22 tooth gears. Place a plastic washer above and below the large gear sandwich on the central column. Ensure the gears mesh with those above. Add the small gear sandwich, mesh the gears, and lock the collar with an M3G grub screw. Lock the Neptune support arm into the side of the collar with an M3G grub screw. Push the pin of planet Neptune through the collar in its moon and into the top of the vertical support arm. Phase eight is now complete. The ninth phase of stage two adds Pluto and its moon using components supplied with issues 41 to 45. In this phase, the large gear sandwich has 106 tooth and 87 tooth gears, and the small gear sandwich has 41 tooth and 22 tooth gears. Place a plastic washer above and below the large gear sandwich on the central column. Ensure the gears mesh with those above. Add the small gear sandwich, mesh the gears, and lock the collar with an M3G grub screw. Lock the Pluto support arm into the side of the collar with an M3G grub screw. Push the pin of planet Pluto through the collar in its moon and into the top of the vertical support arm. Phase nine is now complete. The tenth phase of stage two adds dwarf planet Eris using components supplied with issues 46 to 47. In this phase, the large gear sandwich has only a 106 tooth gear. Eris is the last in the chain, so a blank gear completes the assembly. Place a plastic washer above and below the large gear sandwich on the central column. Ensure the 106 tooth gear meshes with those above. Lock the Eris support arm into the side of the collar with an M3G grub screw. Push the pin of dwarf planet Eris into the top of the vertical support arm. Phase 10 is now complete. 